I don't know about you, but I am swelling with the biggest pride boner. That was gnar, dude! We were on Gnar Mountain and we were just like carving left and right all the way down. That was so sick! Yeah. That, that was... I, I, I don't, I don't know what happened. I got in the ring and something came over me. Yeah, you let the hate flow through you and that was exactly what we needed to, to vanquish our enemies. We have done it. We assembled the most badass group. We have totally beat Harley Quinn's ass, who deserved it, by the way. What? What do we do now? I don't know, dude. What do we do now? Uh, maybe we should think, oh, Jesus, fuck, what the hell happened here? God damn it. You know, if uh, maybe we should come up with something new. Yeah, we could, like, we could start a... a... Huh. What, what, what? What? What the devil is this shit? What? What is that? What is going on over there? There's no one, no one in the driver. Yo, there, there's seriously no one driving this thing. Hello? Is it remote control? I think... I know what this means. I think this means that we have to take this haunted ass van on a road trip. Oh, that does sound like a particularly stupid idea that I'm totally in for. Yeah, destination friendship. Uh, does this thing smell like a wet dog to anyone else? Very much so. Coming to you from the Grapple Palace. It's when the Wrestling Entertainment Network. Calling all Rump Rangers, Fanny Bandits, and Glass Bottom Boat Riders, bring the cock cavalcade down to the Wrestling Entertainment Network. Hello, everyone. I am Chip Studebaker. And I'm Jim Anderson. And I want you to close your eyes, feel the magic of this moment as it goes into every porous part of your body, calming your mind, letting you know that the Wrestling Entertainment Network is here. That is correct, but don't you jizz in your Jordash jeans just yet. We have a huge card. Big time main event, tag team action, heavy duty, and the Black Ninja from the G.I. Joes going up against Goldar and Hannibal. They've taken to calling themselves all that. Do you get that, Jim? That's a Ooh. 90s reference. I like it. Nice and smooth, and this is our first ever tag team event. That is not correct. It has never been correct. I don't know. You know, I understand. He was kicked by a horse when he was a child. We're still working on phonics, but... We also have The Blob making his debut against Voldemort, that dastardly son of a bitch. All of that and more, make sure you stick around, but we have to get to, you know, the one, the only, Mr. Tony Riggle, unfortunately not able to be here in person, but is coming via satellite. Uh, apparently we can afford satellite waves now? Huh? What's up with that, Jib? You got money for satellite waves, but not for baloney in the break room? What well, gives? We're doing this now? I thought we were doing it later. It's like, let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over with. Peel the scab off, let it bleed. They call it bloodletting, I've heard. I was feeling nice and zen. Now this asshole is gonna bring me down. Well, bring it down, bring it back up. Let's, let's. You got Pull it? Pull in, Jerry. You got it? I hear heavy breathing. It's supposed to be up. Is it up? It's up. It's on this monitor or it's up here? It's up here. Yeah, it's like that. Can you hear us? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mr. Hello, Riggle. Hello, Mr. Riggle. Hello, nice gentlemen. of you to grace us with your presence. My God, can we not do this today, Shakespeare, uh -huh. please? Uh -huh. Thank you. I have a new decree for the Grapple Palace this week. Too many people have been leaving their clothes behind after every match. I'm seeing shoes, shirts, see socks, poop-stained underwear, you oh, name it, I've been yeah, seeing it. It's disgusting, and it's driving me nuts. Hello? So this next decree is going to be taking care of the clothing problem here. Which is... No more jackets. That's right, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. What are you talking about? What? Again? Again. What Every time. Oh my God. How is it not directed at me? How is this it, not directed at me? I'm the only one who wears a an awesome jacket. No it's one else not. wears a jacket like this. There's a good reason for that, What Jim? do you mean no jackets? How can that even be a rule? I just I said why. I thought this was why. supposed to be like freedom, the Grapple Palace. We're supposed to be able to do whatever the we want. Supposed to do it to that was Mr. Tittlemeyer's vision. Yeah, Jib, and it's a vision that I have to work on every day. I'm gonna do my job. How about you start doing yeah, yours? Yeah, okay, right? goodbye. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Well, that heated up faster than a crawfish boil, Jib, which you're famous for. I 
Can't help but feel that this is starting to get more and more direct. This guy is harassing me. If we had an HR department, I would go straight in there. Yes, absolutely, and I would back you up in an affidavit post haste. But we gotta make do with what the devil has dealt us, and what he's dealt us is a big steaming pile of shit in Mr. Tony Riggle, making weird rules all over the Grapple Palace. First, he got rid of uh, established tag teams, which a lot of people didn't even pay attention to. No. Penguin, Jabba, John Leo Donathan, they're off making buddy cop movies now. You know, riding around in a haunted van. It's, it's gonna be great, yeah. absolutely. Big time spinoff, make sure you stay tuned. Mm. But, at the end of the day, he's the boss. Applesauce. He's just, he's, he's the acting CEO. That's all. Yeah, I mean. And he's just acting like a jackass. Correct, correct. And you get the jacket for the rest of the episode, so just make sure you hold it tight. And you can wear it any time that you're not here. It's not that big of a deal, man. It's okay. We'll get through this. You and me together. Coming in hot and heavy, we've got a big time debut with The Blob from X-Men going against Voldemort, who's on a bit of a hot streak. I think uh, the Blob is going to kick his ass tonight, because look at that dude. He is huge. I can feel the ground rumbling. That's right. He is the immovable force, and this is a weak attempt to channel Lex Luger. You're not going to slam that, you Gozuna. one-handed. Oh, classic airplane spin. That's wrestling, my friend. And what you going to follow up with? A Blob drop. Whoa. That was impressive. That's it. That's it. How is that Voldemort going to... He's crawled to his feet. He's definitely shaking. You can feel that beef a sizzling, but uh, Blob is. Uh, uh, ladies oh. and gentlemen, I can't believe what we're seeing ah, here. This isn't good. This is. It appears that the Blob cannot bring himself to his feet. Unfortunately, the ring is not Tempur-Pedic. We can't jar him. Doesn't he know he's got to wrestle? Uh, nah. This is not something that he thought of, and this is very fortuitous for Voldemort. He looks like he's going to capitalize. Oh no! Oh, it's embarrassing. Call him Franklin. He's a turtle on his back. Look at it! It came crashing down like Hulk Hogan himself. He's going to steal one, Jim. That is it. Right there for the take it. It's easy. He made it easy for him. You are correct. Voldemort steals the win from the blob, and this is no good. We, we're never going to hear the end of this. No, he, this is just going to embolden him, and it's all he's going to talk about. It's going to raise his confidence. We need to find someone who can kick his ass, someone who can get off the ground. Yeah, Damn. yeah, that, this is quite unfortunate. He is going to be riding high on that ego of his. It is going to be very Hulk Hogan-esque. They share many parallels. I mean, huge ego, win with the leg drop, smells like death, looks like a walking corpse, but fortunately, Voldemort's not racist, so that's good. Yeah, he also doesn't make $60,000 to show up in some high school auditorium to say, Hell yeah, brother! Oh, very true. We do not have that kind of cashola floating around the old GP. No, they can. They barely pay us. They, I barely get the 20 bucks a night that they say they're going to pay us. It's 20 for you, too, In right? 20 bucks. Okay, I'm going to have to make some calls. We'll be right back! Back. Come on down to Crazy Gary's Loose Playing Card Boutique. We got every type of playing card you can think of. Did you lose a jack of hearts trying to do some shitty card trick to impress a girl? Well, we got it. Do you have a particular favorite from your pawpaw's old nudie deck that you're missing? Come on down to Gary's. It's the only place you can feel guilty about your terrible, irresponsible behavior with your playing cards, man. You gotta take better care of them. Come on down to Gary's. Mr. Clean. Wash away everything, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, come and wash away me, Mr. Clean. Is he gone? I hope so.
Holy shit! You go. What the f is that? That was insane, Chip. Yes, absolutely. That, that did not make me feel good. No. That didn't sit on anything at Jib Banderson's well. That sat bad, actually. Absolutely. That was a child down Jib Banderson's well. All I know is I got goose pimples all over my Brazilian zone. What the f is going on in the Wrestling Entertainment Network? I don't know, but Lassie is not coming to help. We need to get Mr. Clean out of here. We need to deal with him because I don't think that was a yoga class. Oh, absolutely not. Not nearly enough farting for a yoga class. This is some hardcore cult shit. I've seen it before, and I'm seeing it again right in front of my eyes. Mr. Clean. Dirty son of a bitch. Mark my words. Mark them. I I'm believe it. I believe it. Dirty son of a bitch. You're telling the truth, Chip Studebaker. <sighs> You know what? Let's talk about something happy. Let's yeah. talk about the main event. Let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Spilling over from our last episode, we have Heavy Duty going with the Black Ninja up against Goldar and Hannibal Lecter. Big time tag team match. Big time. I don't know who's going to come out on top, but I know that I want to see the reign of the Golden Menace Goldar end. I want to see this 90s nostalgia bullshit over with and done because you know what it's doing for Jip Studebaker? It's driving up the prices. That's all it's doing. It's not serving any good living in the past. Hell no. Hell no. I'm ready for this match. Heavy duty. After we fixed his face last week, yeah. he's been showing up, he's been going to the gym, and he looks ready. He looks ready tonight. Correct. Shoulders like boulders and a skin graft from his ass meat, and he looks right as rain. Let's get to that match, Jib. Oh, I'm so ready. You ready? I'm ready. You feel it? I'm tickled. Can you feel it? Right, let's, let's turn that tickle to Pleasure Town, baby. Let's Ooh. go. Let's jump on the train and let's go. Quite a debut here. Heavy Duty and the Black Ninja. You know, I've never seen one, someone so evenly matched to Goldar in the size department. And of course, I'm talking about his feet. You know, if anyone can beat Goldar, I think it's going to be Heavy Duty. The crowd loves them. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see his tag team partner. Yeah, uh, very elusive. Haven't seen him all day. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, look nice. at that. Smooth. Smooth like a castor oil shit. I, the Black Ninja is here in full force. You know, let's just hope that he's more Bruce Lee and not Brendan. Look, he's got a katana. Why does everybody bring weapons in here? I don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody has to tell them that that shit's not tolerated. Fozzie is a child, you know? He can't be brandishing a katana around the arena. I mean, that was kind of cool what he was doing with it. That I was, wouldn't do that. Yeah, wicked f cool. Maybe he can show us later. Yeah. Sliding into the ring, take a look at this. They are ready to bring the heat against those two assholes that we all know. Look at this. What do you think is going to be in their fanny pack of destruction this time? Who knows? I don't even want to hear the music. Turn it off. Riding that dummy thick ray gun down the aisle. And here they are, Hannibal and Goldar. Why did they bring that thing? Not a clue. Not a clue. Uh, obviously, they're always up to something nefarious. And look at that. Breaking free from that, their jacket. Did he just dislocate his arms or something? A contortionist of terror he seems to be. And he is ready for action against the Black Ninja starting it off. I can feel it. It's tense. No, well, they I, may be toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but they are certainly not chin-to-chin. -chin. I've got a tense hate boner just brewing under this butt buckle right here. Look at this. All right into the corner. Sternum first. And what's going on? A choke for f***ing real. Come on. All these guys do is cheat. That's all they do is cheat moves, man. None of them wrestle. They just get away from cheating. Fozzie trying to pull them off. Physically trying to intervene. Nothing but bullshit in their grab bag, and this is terrible. Well, here we are up Ship Mountain. That's right. It's rolling downhill. Black Ninja with the tag, and look at that cowering to the corner to tag out to Goldar. Yeah. Big time spear like he's a whale fishing Ooh. boat and a knee to the midsection for good measure. A two count. Oh, looks like 2.5 because it got broken up. That's right. Sw oh, off the top, the Black Ninja taking care of Hannibal, who's intervening. And look at this, trying to square it up. Fozzie's paying attention to them on the outside. Oh, no. This isn't good. I've seen this. This is the Iranian vagina claw. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus. Thumb to the taint. No. Oh, that does I feel that in my stomach. Down to the mat. And no, look at this. Just stomping his balls. Just... Put in the boot stomp in a mud hole right through his mud hole. I, I mean, I know we need more awareness about male birth control, but that is not the way to do it. Oh, no. Fozzie quick to the count. Didn't see a lick of that. And look at this. They've taken another victory by cheating. Every time. You just can't trust these guys. You know, I, it, 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 it's up. I don't know what we expected. They come in here on their high 
rocking horse every episode talking about how the 90s are so great and how they're going to beat everybody else. But every time, it's got to be through some underhanded back alley tactic. We should expect no less from two bona fide pieces of shit. What an episode! We are desperately out of time. We've got to get this place cleaned up. We have a farmer's market tomorrow where you actually get to buy farmers. Oh, it's going to be a great event. We got lamb, egg, and cheeses all day. You ever had a lamb, egg, and cheese? I have not, but I hear it is divine. Oh, they're f***ing wonderful. They got chickens. Buy one, get one. That's crazy. That's crazy. I would love to strike a deal for buy one, get two. Maybe I can weasel my way into that. Speaking of, there's going to be the weasel skinning. They are raffling off slaughterhouse seats. It is going to be a banger time. Make sure you stop down and purchase yourself one of those fine farmers. I hear that most of them are white men in dirty overalls. We'll see you next time. You know where, and you most certainly know.